Christ, Can we can set you free. Sir. Oh, you don't have to be possessed by a demon no more. Sir, you don't have to be possessed by Lucifer. You can be saved by Jesus Christ and be humble today. Yes, yes. Turn to the love of God. Jesus died for you. God. Oh, I'm here. And God sent him to Jesus to die I'm here to tell you the for truth. sins and we put our trust and faith on him. I'm judging right We will be saved no, no, because it's the blood of Jesus that covers us of our sins. Judgment comes if you continue in your sins. Life is about, do not be like, life is about making mistakes. But you need a savior to save you on your mistakes. Not Who are you praying to? They can pray to their, any of their God that they believe in. You should not, that's what you're doing, you're pushing this stuff. On the, no, no, uh, don't I'm, interrupt me. I'm you're telling you the truth. truth. You don't want the truth. Your intellects are hitting you to hell. You need to humble yourself and stop being prideful. Every one of you, every one of you need to humble yourself. But I have a question, I heard something. I heard that you're he can set you free. He can set a drunk free. He can set a liar free. A thief. This kid is 13 years old. He's brainwashing him right now. Oh, you're brainwashed by your school system. Amen. Yeah, they're giving us some education. Yeah, evolution's your training in school. Oh, we came from here. Place on Sunday, which is supposed to be God's day. What's that? <laughs> Go home and watch Tell her why the God, why the Bible is bullshit. Watch that. It will change your mind. I swear to God. That's right. I swear to God. I swear to God. He asked me how the first human was created. All right. Well, the first human was created by God's image, by Adam, from the dust. He created him in His image, and then He created Eve from the rib. Wait, wait. So you're saying that a human was created? In seven days. For first one, from the dust. Yeah, God. Six. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days what? He created her for six days and rested on the seventh. He rested on the seventh. God's, God's, God don't need a counter. What about the, what about the mentally retarded? What about the mentally retarded? Are they going to help? No, they can, God doesn't judge you unrighteous. They can't pray. You know the truth. Oh, God doesn't judge, huh? What do you do? He doesn't, I don't judge you unrighteous. I see what you're saying. I hear it. I see how she's acting all over me. Yeah, she needs to repent. what about the way you're acting? How am I acting? I'm telling you the truth. You're a fucking asshole. Look how you're cursing at me. You're talking yeah. about me? You need Jesus, son. You need some soap in your mouth. Your mom and dad needs to spank you, I think. So do you need a spanking for your mom and dad? Is that what you do to your children? Oh, I love them that I chastise them. I, I love them that I spank them, yeah. And they learn and they know they deserve it. But if I tell my son or daughter to continue to steal and don't punish them, I don't love them. They'll wind up in jail. But you'd be surprised when they say about you behind your fucking back. Yeah, you hate your parents, don't you? You sound like it. No, this ain't you. You hate me because you don't want to repent and turn to Jesus. Why don't you want to? You're a child of the time. You need the love of God. You're already acting like a fool. You're cursing at me. You're swearing. You're telling me off. You need the blood of Jesus. I do. This what? sign is true. Everybody. Nobody I do love the blood of Jesus. Nobody wanted to listen to Jesus. Put him on a cross, right? I love Jesus. I If you love Jesus, you don't have to love so God, six days, seven days rested. God gave God man God 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 have you gone to the church and see how they have you? Not all churches are walking with God. Some churches accept homosexuality. No one likes you. Get out. So that's God's standard. Some churches need a wake up call. Some churches need, a lot of churches need to repent. The Catholic Church needs to repent for their idol worship. Worship and marry. If you read the Bible, you will listen to God's word and obey it. Maybe you're just like doing it wrong. You're assuming things. They know who I am.
I obey God. I love God. I love you. I come out and preach the gospel. Do you have a Facebook? I got a Facebook stalk you. God wrote to my heart, change me. He said, go out to the world, preach the gospel to all creation. I don't want you to perish, God. Thank you. He loves us. Of your sin and turn to Jesus you and say, You must draw near to God for God to draw near to you. Are you willing to draw near to God? I am not. I have a couple months ago, you're not I am a direct descendant of Jesus. The thing is that we need God's word. We need God's word. God's word is holy and it's still around. It's the book that can change your life. It's the book that can set you free. Jesus Christ. You set you free. You ever seen my grandmother works for the Vatican? Yeah, I've done drugs. I've done math. Look, I'm talking. I do a ministry work and accountability. Okay. Do you like get paid for it or anything? Or are you just like. No, I spent my own gas money. Okay. But where do you live? Why do God create you so to serve? But are you serving God in your sin? Where do you live in Pennsylvania? If God created us, why the hell are we saying that? Because God sent a Savior to set you free. When you trust in Him, He can change you. He took the punishment for you. It's like, let me ask you this question. It's like you're going in the courtroom for lying. You got to go behind bars. And then Jesus comes in and takes your place and lets you go. That's what He did. Yeah! I used to drink. I used to get high. I used to do that. I used to do steroids. Wait, wait, hold on. No, the blood, the blood of Jesus erased my steroids. He erased my. He cast it out behind his back and forgave me. Do you want to live for sin? Or do you want to live for Jesus Christ? Who can set you free? This video goes Christ. on YouTube. Christ, the Messiah, yes. died for each one of you. So that you don't have to perish in a place called hell. If you continue in your rebellion, if you continue lying, if you continue to be a homosexual, a drunkard, a thief, a masturbator, an unmodest dressed woman, you will die in your sin. You will die in your unrighteousness. So, so, come to the help. Come to the help of God. Jesus Christ who can save you. Jesus Christ can set you free. Yes. Why am I lying? Because yes. you're preaching, pushing you stuff on us. We don't know what you You don't want the truth? You push God away. When, 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 when the trade center falls, what are you doing when you, right now? When you die, you will face God's judgment. What are you doing right now? You're judging God. When, when you die, when you die, what about you? Do you want this? Do you want God's grace? No, because no. I'm only judging you for what I believe in. God can forgive you for sins because he died. Oh. I don't want you to forgive me because I like what I believe in. You like your sin. You're going to wind up in hell. It's not you a like. sin. You're pretending it's a sin. What I you're making up. You're making up. You are making up your own God. You are making up your own God. You are making up your own God. Because God has a higher standard. I have a point to make. I want to hear that point. Can I, can I tell you something real quick? You think judging's bad, but you're judging us for not supporting God. That's bad. Jesus. The Bible says judge righteous. I'm not supporting you're saying that. On the other side, turn aside for a second. Where are you? Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ. I'm sure God is not for you. That's his title. Oh, so because you believe in this stuff, does your wife do all of this? Oh, my my wife doesn't preach. She preaches people one on one. I guarantee. One on one. I guarantee she's been drunk. Uh, I guarantee she can't she smoke me? My wife is what she did. My wife is drunk with the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the love of God. Never. I think you're foolish. I go to church. I know God accepts me for who I am. That doesn't save you. Yes, it does. I know he saves me. No. I know. If I got killed right now, I'd be in heaven. God would gain me for 
doing this? The only thing that saves you. The only thing that saves you is the blood of Jesus Christ. I have the blood of Jesus Christ. Why does that matter? Then why you act the way you do? If you are. Where's that in the Bible? Where's that in the Bible? Who they are? Why did God destroy Sodom and Gomorrah if He accepts you the way you are? Why did God flood the world if He accepts you the way you are?